Hey, how's it going guys? And welcome to part three of this FPS game tutorial. So in this part, we are going to be importing the gun that we created earlier and add it to this scene. And to do that, we are going to be using the same method, the linking method. So to do that, go to file and choose link. And then we're going to locate our rigs folder, which is here. And assault rifle and then double click on the assault rifle rig file. And then go to collection and choose this one, rig assault rifle and press link. All right, and there's our gun. And if for some reason this um, this collection ended up somewhere else, like maybe, you know, it showed up like under the mannequin rig, uh, you can just select it and like click and drag it out and place it somewhere else like this. But for now, I'm going to keep it under collection. And to make this editable, we need to right click the collection and choose library override, make and selected end content like that. And we also want to uh, just hide this uh, custom shape because we, I mean, there's no point having it. So we just click this checkbox. And the next step is to attach this gun rig to the character's gun bone. So the character rig has a bone called uh, CB gun, which is the controller bone for the gun. And to attach the rig to this one, we select the gun rig in object mode and then go to constraints and add a copy transforms. And as the target, we want to assign our armature, which is this uh, top one here. And the bone should be set to IK hand gun, which is uh, the child of this bone, basically. And now we can give this a quick test by going to post mode and moving this gun, uh, this gun bone, and this should be following perfectly. Yep, it does. All right, awesome. Now this file is basically ready for animation. Um, one last thing that I usually like to do is um, create like a reference pose. So it's basically like an empty animation that just contains uh, all the bones keyframed already. So to do that, we, um, well, first I want to set the starting frame of the timeline to zero because we're, we're going to be using zero as the first frame. So just click that and type in zero. I'm just going to zoom in and go to frame zero. And then select the character armature and go to post mode and create a new animation. And we can just call this one like a underscore uh, reference or something like that. It doesn't really, I mean, we're not going to be using this for anything other than a reference. So it doesn't really matter what it's called. And then also click this little shield icon here to save the animation. And then just select all the bones by pressing A. And then we want to uh, add keyframes for all of these bones. And we can do that by pressing I and choosing location and rotation. And this basically gives us like a fresh uh, template to, uh, to work from, which is pretty nice. And I'm going to do the same for the gun. So select the gun rig, go into post mode and select all the bones and create a new animation. And I'm going to call this one a underscore weapon.
and uh, reference. And just save that. And insert keyframes for all of these uh, bones. All right, there we go. Cool. So um, that's it for this part. It was a pretty short one, uh, but now our scene is uh, all set up and ready for animation. And in the next part, we're going to be creating the idle pose and also the aim pose. So yeah, I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.